hey, check out this video. Oh, wait, you can't see. Here, try these on. So I've already done a ton of mods to this phone. I put in a light up Apple logo. I changed the housing to gold. The speakers also light up and I did a clear screen mod, but we're doing something completely different this time and that much more complicated. You can do this mod to almost any LCD screen, but iPhones are a little bit tricky. And I had to take this idea to a friend of mine to see if he could pull it off. Luckily, he said, no problem. Hey Wong. This is my friend Wong. He can refurbish pretty much any screen. To do this experiment, we need an LCD refurbished without its polarizer. The polarizer in this case is a film which filters the direction of light enabling the LCD's pixels to become visible. Removing it would make the screen appear blank. We're going to be using this LCD and removing its polarizer. First things first, we have to separate the frame from the LCD. Using this hot plate to soften the adhesive, we can pull the sides of the frame off the LCD panel. The LCD is extremely fragile, so any mistakes usually mean you end up with a broken LCD. Now we can begin to separate the LCD from the glass. We do this using a hot plate that also sucks the screen to keep it in place. We use a thin metal wire to separate the two. The wire slices straight through that glue and without the frame or too much cracked glass, it's honestly not that hard. The LCD has now been separated from the glass and it's ready for cleaning. The glue can be really hard to remove, so you have to get creative. This little tool is spinning so fast, it's just picking up all the leftover pieces of glue on the way. I used to use my fingers to get the glue off, but Wong's just built different. Now it's time to remove the polarizer. Normally, if this was intact, they would keep it on, but for this experiment, we need to take it off. This is one of the most satisfying parts of this procedure. Scraping it slowly from left to right, you can see that it just peels up fairly easily. Once again, this is extremely fragile. Any mistakes result in a broken LCD and the process has to be restarted. The blade also heats up to soften up the adhesive. When you have the right tools, any job can be easy. Now we can take the polarizer off, but there's still some cleaning to do. Placing these microfiber cloths and soaking them in glue remover ensures that no glue remover gets under the actual LCD and only cleans where it needs to be. Pouring the glue remover directly on the LCD is a big no-no. It's better to use a brush. Half of this job is literally just cleaning, but we sped that up for you. It's really important to test frequently throughout this process to make sure you aren't wasting any time. Usually, we'd be able to see the screen, but because we took the polarizer off, we have to use one externally. That's just a little sneak peek of what's to come. The LCD and touch are working properly. It's time to go to the next step. We can prepare the LCD for the new glass by cleaning it and ensuring that there's absolutely no dust or debris between the glass and the LCD. That sounds a little easier than it actually is. It's really hard to make sure that there's absolutely no debris between the two. It's kind of like putting on a screen protector. Now we can place it in the laminator machine, which presses the two together, fusing them to be one. This takes around five minutes. That's all done, but there's still some air bubbles between the glass and the LCD. Heating up the screen can remove some bubbles, but not all. which it just did, but we have to place the LCD into a bubble remover machine, which sucks all the air out of it. And just like that, now we have a brand new screen with no polarizer installed. It's time to get this back to the office and install it on our gold iPhone 7 Plus.
So we got the screen. He custom made this just for us. I don't think there's a lot of screens in the world that have no polarizer on. And it's kind of a strange request. Most people would not ask for this, but uh, I'm not most people. Anyway, we finally get to remove this screen. It was good while it lasted, but it's kind of ugly. And I don't blame you guys for roasting it in the comments. Just uh, don't roast this one, because this is pretty cool. So there's no bottom screws because the frame uh, isn't there because I had to remove it to make this clear. So we can just kind of take this off. It just comes off like that. So now we're going to swap over all the internals, the front camera, the front earpiece speaker, and the home button over to here. And we're done. That was easy. Nah, I'm not going to do it. So we're done with the clear screen. And uh, it's been good. See you later. Stop! Please like and subscribe. Now it's time to install our polarizerless screen. It actually looks kind of weird. It's a lot more reflective-y. Ref 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 reflective. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more reflective without the polarizer. So we have to take our gold iPhone. It's actually pretty, pretty nice. So we have to take our gold iPhone and we have to reinstall this screen. So we'll reinstall the front earpiece speaker first and we'll reinstall the screen. Turn on the phone, get that crunch, crunch again. Now you see me, now you don't. Okay, so we have the screen installed with no polarizer, as you can see, but we're missing something. We're gonna go pick up some glasses so that only we could see our screen and nobody else can. So we have these polarizers and they can't be at this angle or up. Oh, they could be upside down. They have to be straight up though. So we're going to have to either pop these, pop the glass out and glue them on so that you could see, or we're just going to glue them on the glass. So we're back with the phone and we made our glasses. So doing this was a little harder than we thought just because these glasses had curved glass and it was hard to stick the polarizer on. But these glasses, we just popped out the glass completely and placed polarizers and these ones work really, really well. So these are definitely gonna be our go-to for this project. We also have these beautiful pink glasses. They work decently well too, but they're a little too dark for my liking. I also bought some of these glasses from Amazon, which have a weird inversion effect on the phone's colors. Not really sure why, but these are polarized sunglasses and uh, I'll probably be taking these outside and using them after this video. So now this iPhone 7 Plus has not one, not two, not three. I'm not going to do that, that's annoying. But it has five mods, including the screen. This screen mod is the craziest thing I've ever done in terms of iPhone mods. And I want to continue to mod this phone. I want to get around 10 mods on it, if that's even possible. So don't be shy to drop a comment. Let me know what I should do next. Uh, I'm thinking out a wireless charger, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.